and welcome back to my channel and here are the meals of the week first we're starting out with chicken sofrito um i know i'm pronouncing it wrong but it's basically the name of this lovely sauce here are all the seasonings that i use there's the sauce um, a little cilantro now this sauce i will try one day to make it myself but it has tomatoes peppers onions cilantro garlic it's just so good and it goes great on chicken so really simple lazy meal i just lined the cookie sheet um with foil sprayed some good old olive oil spray this is a good deal i get those in a pack of three at sam's like for under five dollars can't beat the price um, and I went ahead and put down the chicken breasts. These were really large. I pounded them down as flat as I could. And then here I am putting all of the seasoning on them. It's really important y'all to season both sides of your meat. So in a minute here, you will see me after I'm done putting all the seasoning on, flip it over, massage all of the seasoning. And it's really important too to also pat and massage it in so it doesn't fall off while it's cooking. And then I also let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. I always try to season my meat um, the night before, but if I can't, you know, 15 minutes will do the trick. Then I will spoon the sauce on top of the meat and just go ahead and let it bake. And it's a really affordable, simple meal. Come on, spit it out. I'm about to lose my mind again. How did you stop living? and paired this with rice y'all know I'm a rice head this has already been rinsed and clean I add a little oil and salt and pepper and there is the meal like I said really simple it was a busy night um, it was really enjoyable I had mine with a side of avocado next up is good old spaghetti um, I always try to have some kind of pasta on a weeknight again simple meal who doesn't know how to make spaghetti <laughs> I will boil it uh, with a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick and also to season um, I'm calling this my easy spaghetti because I really didn't do much to it besides try to load it with a lot of onions and peppers um, I try to put as much vegetables in this dish as I can sneak them in because you know I'm a picky eater and we are trying to watch our weight like everyone else the first of the year. So I just wanted to pack it full of veggies if I could. And with the pasta dish, I always have to have garlic bread. That is Texas toast that I just ramped up unmatched by putting more seasoning on it as always. And then I went ahead and sauteed my veggies. That's a lot of veggies, y'all. But um, as you know, ground turkey needs a lot of help. And plus, I just wanted to, again, put as many vegetables as I could into the meat and sauce to sneak in, you know, some good old veggies, healthy, healthy spaghetti. So ground turkey is the main component of the spaghetti again I'm not using the spicy Italian sauces like I normally do which contains a lot of pork and a lot of fat and it's just bomb but when you use ground turkey you have to show it love it is very bland it's a very lean meat and doesn't render any kind of fat so that's why you saw all of that seasoning because it needs help child like it's just not good without a bunch of seasoning um, and the bell peppers help my favorite, favorite, favorite jar pasta sauce, the spicy tomato basil uh, classico. It is so good, y'all. Like, I can eat that nonstop. I like a thicker sauce, so I don't add any kind of liquid other than the pasta sauce. And just let that simmer, marry with the meat, and go ahead and toss with your noodles, and you have dinner. It came out perfect. It was enjoyable, it was hearty, and super affordable.
up is sticky chicken and this was my go-to when I was a kid my granny Uella used to cook this for me all the time here are all the ingredients as far as the seasoning that you will need for said sticky chicken I chose to use uh, thighs and legs like my granny um, this is a brand I really like it's organic and usually it's skinless so again less calories the best way to season your chicken in my case you see me with gloves I hate feeling bare chicken on my skin but is in a, a ziploc bag I'll put the chicken a little bit of oil any seasonings and go ahead and get it all around the chicken to me that's the best way to season your chicken hey. so after your seasons your chicken go ahead and put it in a hot hot either cast iron or Dutch oven this was a fail y'all I'll, I'll show you how I corrected myself, but I went ahead and put it in my cast iron skillet to let it brown. What you need, baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I hit the town, you should lie on me. Keep your minds on me. On try, baby, I think you should. And where I failed is I didn't leave the chicken alone. I kept fussing with it and turning it and it didn't get as brown as I wanted it to and it just created a lot of burnt pieces on the bottom of my cast iron. So I didn't even want to deglaze in my cast iron. I ended up switching to my Dutch oven, but um, I should have just left the chicken alone and not fussed with it as much. So yeah, it was a fail, but it still turned out good. I said it was a bit of a fail on my part as far as the cast iron. I switched to my Dutch oven um, just to let it brown a little bit more. I didn't fuss with it. Then I was able to deglaze. Now the sauce that I'm putting on is just honey, a little bit of seasoning, and a little bit of chicken broth as well as soy sauce to give it that sticky effect. You want to add a little bit of water because if you just put the soy sauce and honey, it will burn. Um, adding the water liquefies it a lot more so it can cook along with the chicken and eventually it'll thicken up and that's where the stickiness comes from. So halfway through the cooking process you just want to go in there with a spoon and just put the sauce all over the chicken so you can just have a thick layer of that sauce on the chicken that's where you get the stickiness from the whole house smelled so good y'all um, I really should have I should have either started with the Dutch oven or you know like I said not flip my chicken so much but it just came out super delicious it took me back to my childhood here's the final result it was so good y'all it wasn't as good as granny's but it was up there give this video a big thumbs up and until next time guys bye